What's up guys, Christopher Walker here back again with some more helpful health information for you. Uh, today we're going to be talking about bromelain, which is an incredible enzyme. Uh, it's commonly found in, in pineapple and uh, you know that's what most people know it to be associated with. And pineapple is, is basically you know overflowing with this enzyme. There's, there's a massive amount of it in pineapple. Pineapple is a great fruit too to eat on a regular basis. It's also high in vitamin C, B1, uh, potassium, manganese, and other antioxidants. Uh, but we're going to talk about specifically bromelain here because there, there are some really cool benefits to having this in your diet um, or in your supplement regimen, for example. Now, in the, in the medical community, they've actually been using it as an anti-inflammatory. And uh, it's, it's well known for its anti-inflammatory effects in the body. So it doesn't just help as a digestive enzyme, but it has this you know, antioxidant property in the body on the cellular level. And that's actually why we included it in our new Truth Nutra supplement, Inflammation Relief, um, which is available over at truthnutra.com. Get on the waiting list if it's not out yet, but it'll be out soon. Um, if you're watching this in the future, it'll, you know, you'll see it in the future, but it'll be available this summer, 2018. Uh, let's look at the main benefits that you can expect with bromelain. So the first one is, like I said, this is an enzyme. And as an enzyme, it's really going to help with uh, the digestion in your body. So it's going to also help you absorb nutrients and even other things that, you know, like drugs, if you're taking drugs. Uh, I don't recommend that, but it'll, you know, kind of had to say that because it, it actually is so helpful at absorbing everything because, you know, it, it'll literally anything you're putting in your gut is going to help you absorb more of it. So um, I don't I don't recommend taking uh, pharmaceuticals unless you absolutely absolutely need to but um, it does help with with everything along the whole gamut uh, basically it, it decreases inflammation um, it's gonna reduce the cytokine response so I've talked about this in other videos before where uh, one of the key things that happens with an inflammation response is that these cytokines really start to increase and uh, they're pro-inflammatory so what, what they do is they, they'll damage the gut lining, they'll damage the immune system um, by keeping your immune system in that elevated state. And a lot of times um, they're the culprits in autoimmune disorders because uh, the, the body, they're like the signal to the body to continue to attack itself. So um, bromelain is, is very good at helping to modulate that cytokine response. Um, a lot of people are, you know, in terms of gut they're using it for IBS, they're using it for UC, uh, dyspepsia, Crohn's, constipation, diarrhea, heartburn, acid reflux, you name it. Like all these things that are uh, really just gut disorders, um, you know, manifesting at a certain level, uh, the bromelain is known to be good for that. Now, another benefit of it is that it's uh, a good alternative to um, like a kind of an NSAID, you know, uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. So th this would be something like uh, ibuprofen or aspirin, you know, things that you, uh, uh, Motrin, stuff that people typically go to the um, CVS or the Walgreens pharmacy to look for over-the-counter over the counter NSAIDs uh, as a pain reliever. But uh, there's, there's some good uh, research showing that bromelain itself helps uh, with decreasing pain and with, with pain management. So that can be a really, you know, tasty and inexpensive way to help again with controlling that inflammation and the pain associated with the inflammation. Uh, the next benefit is that is the benefit of um, actually with with asthma. So in allergies in general, uh, there was a, a study in the evidence-based complementary and alternative medicine journal uh, that looked at bromelain in uh, mice with asthma. So this study was interesting because it really re the bromelain itself reduced the allergic uh, reaction and stopped the development of other inflammatory responses that were that were related to the airway uh, in in these asthmatic subjects. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what that what this says is that there's probably some some uh, enzymatic modulation here of the of the immune system, and when your body's deficient in these enzymes. Uh, it could potentially be what's triggering the response, like an asthmatic response. So uh, it's, it's interesting finding. 
Now another uh, benefit of bromelain is um, for sinus infections. It's actually there was a study done at the University of Cologne, Germany, and uh, they had uh, 12 patients who had just had sinus surgery and they basically treated them with bromelain for three months. They uh, basically discovered a massive improvement in all the symptoms. Um, the uh, overall quality of life was enhanced. There was no adverse effects of uh, the bromelain at all. So just after that surgery, they, they recovered extremely quickly and then they didn't fall back into uh, their sinus problems. So that's, that's pretty cool. And that's good because uh, not, um, you know, surgery is typically the route that people take for, for sinus issues uh, that are, you know, serious, uh, but um, the surgeries aren't always effective at uh, controlling a, a relapse back into it. So um, the next benefit is with regards to helping with joint pain. So really anything that's helping to control that cytokine response and the inflammation response is going to be useful at uh, helping with joint pain. But don't take my word for it. There was actually a study in the Journal of All Alternative Therapies and Health and Medicine that did a trial uh, looking at 42 patients with spine and, and joint conditions. And uh, they basically took bromelain twice a day. And uh, they found that the pain decreased up to 60% in these patients. And, uh, and that was in patients with acute pain and then 50% in patients with, with chronic pain. So huge reduction, uh, and, th and this was, uh, you know, just by taking it twice a day. So it's pretty cool. Um, again, supports the idea that bromelain helps with anti-inflammatory uh, modulation. So those are, are the uh, top five key benefits of bromelain, and uh, hopefully you'll see that it's an extremely helpful addition to your diet, especially if you're deficient in it right now. Um, pineapple tastes incredible and also has a lot of other nutrients in it, like I said, and we also have this in our inflammation relief supplement at truthnutra.com. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you on the next video. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel because I've got so much more content coming out for you to teach you exactly the truth about health-related topics and what you can really do to empower your own life uh, and your own health. So thanks for watching. Click on some other videos, watch some other stuff, and I'll see you around.